so okay very warm welcome once again uh, to my channel Brema Tech today I am going to show you a very easy way how to create uh, thumbnails using video pro vlogger so the first step uh, you need to do is uh, you just open uh, video pro and then uh, you import your uh, desired files uh, in my case I have these three four files available so you just drag it in your uh, media window that's it so we can see that we have uh, in total three pictures which is loaded so you just start with your main uh, thumbnail picture so what you normally do is you simply drag it in your video track or overlay track it doesn't matter you just drag it in your video track and just um, adjust the duration of this image so this is our first image uh, and uh, we have a default setting uh, which is in this case is like uh, a YouTube format so it's uh, 16 is to 9 so once you select your image you go to the transform section and click width so it's now completely like fit to the screen option and after that uh, what we will do is that we have um, uh, an option or um, a facility available in video proc so you can use uh, text with the plain backgrounds like black color or blue color or white Normally, uh, I would recommend using um, blue color or, or white color uh, and with the, in the foreground with text with some different color written in it. But the background, uh, make sure the background has to be a solid color. So we will import this uh, background into the overlay track. You see, it's uh, it's been shown here, and we increase the length to match the length of our uh, image. So normally, uh, what you do here is now you double click. So if you just double click now this and you will go again to our transform section and I will say fit to width it's done so then there are two ways to uh, like overlay your text over the image um, either you can use um, chroma effect which I'll be using now or there are another option which is called like uh, uh, compositing so you can use different kinds of blend modes but I rather prefer uh, this uh, chroma key option what you normally do is uh, you choose your the chroma key or the the green screen which is known as here but we will choose our color so you simply click on this color tab and just uh, pick this color dropper I will cho choose this background color which is in my case is the blue one you simply say done so it's now okay so when I will click the enable button it's gone uh, you don't need to worry the text is still there uh, we just need to increase the smoothness and uh, uh, the tolerance so we have to take the tolerance to zero and then uh, try to adjust uh, uh, the smoothness once you are happy with this you simply uh, then uh, go on further to get the, the text ready so this is our text you see it's it, it, it's very easy as we can see in uh, our text uh, uh, the text is enclosed by the rectangle which is uh, has such a larger size compared to the text area so you uh, by clicking on your text in the overlay track position you just click on the crop button once you will click on the this crop button you can see uh, on the left side is this uh, selected text region or this and the right side is the preview window so if you see this small uh, yellow small yellow highlighters or buttons or selectors you just drag it see horizontally and also vertically even you can do it diagonally so and then drag it also vertically from top and bottom and then don't forget to press the apply button on the other side you have the option of also choosing as different kinds of aspect ratio since we have changed it our we've customized it so it's automatically the software is detected that we are using a customized uh, option now just press apply so now I have uh, my text which is properly selected so what I will do is now is you simply drag it at any position where you want and then after that you click outside this window right it's done 
so we have created um, our first uh, thumbnail which is of uh, youtube format and once you are happy with the, your settings uh, you normally do this is the snapshot button or you can also call it a capture button just besides this volume icon there is a snapshot icon you click it and it's done you're good to go there you go we have our excellent easy way of making a high quality thumbnail using video proc okay now i will show you how to generate um, a very nice thumbnail uh, for other uh, social media platforms like thumbnail and tiktok we have already seen how to generate a thumbnail for youtube using video pro and uh, the other two uh, formats will be also very easy uh, just besides the export button you have a with change uh, video parameters option and uh, instead of choosing uh, the 16 is to 9 we go to instagram option which is 1080 by 1080 so it's the 1 is to 1 ratio you just select this one and press done and i will use the same image uh, to create a thumbnail so after i have imported my thumbnail into the video track uh, i will go to the transform option and click uh, width and also height so and now i would say i'm really happy with the setting because uh, it's it's uh, the, the thumbnail which uh, we are, i'm using or the image is in the 16 is to 9 or it's kind of a landscape format so i need to change it to get it in a portrait format so i just need to fit to screen while using the height option so once i'm happy with it keeping my image still selected on the toolbar i will press the add text option and uh, i will change it to insta instagram so once I change this to Instagram, let's say I change the font a little bit, font size. So instead of uh, using, well, let's say we go to 120, it's looking fine. And then uh, somewhere around this position, if we are happy with it, we say we're done. So normally, and then uh, you again go to the same option, which is a snapshot option just besides your volume uh, icon or button. You just click this option and uh, you will get uh, your format or your thumbnail in Instagram format. So you can see if we go back, we have YouTube. And in YouTube, I have used um, an overlay image with the text embedded on it. I have used chroma key to generate it. And then I have shown you how to generate an image for another format but using directly text option add text option in video pro so the last option uh, there, there could be a different uh, uh, formats which you can export your thumbnail to and I will also show you uh, the last one you change now your settings from Instagram to TikTok 720 by 1280 so it's by 9 is to 16 it's like uh, uh, simple story format you go to this and you see the picture is changed so what we need to do is that uh, uh, we uh, need to also import another one I think it's better to demonstrate it properly so you don't uh, forget all these steps so you import your image you go to the transform option keeping your image selected press hide don't need if you press width it will uh, default by default it's in trans it's in um, landscape format so it will automatically adjust itself so we need but uh, high format so and once you are happy with it or you want it to move your image you just double click the image in the preview window and try to drag it on the right side horizontally you see as i'm doing it I would say I'm happy at this around this point. So keeping my image select, uh, I would like to use uh, add text option. If not, there is another option. You can also add some some uh, more charm to it. Uh, you click on the titles uh, option on on the top toolbar. You see this one, and then uh, we could uh, use any options available here there are several options uh, for example i would say i would like to add uh, this option which is called now for example this uh, title number three so you just click then edit text so in edit text uh, you press here um, tiktok 
and you can also preview how it looks like so yeah, and, and if you are using uh, image animations it could be a very handy uh, tool also you could uh, change the color style animation you can add so once um, I am happy with this option so I will simply click this all right normally what you do uh, in in this case if you use this titles and add your um, title bar or uh, let's say a title on your image you can uh, scale it up for example this one so you could scale it even up or scale it down but uh, you can change the font so let's say I wanted to change the font to about uh, 150 and now I wanted to move it vertically and horizontally so uh, horizontally let's say I wanted to move it a little bit here now I would like to move it around this position so once if I'm I'm happy with this position you click it somewhere in the preview window once it is done you click your um, snapshot button and uh, you should get your thumbnail in a TikTok format so we can see we have generated very easily three different um, background or thumbnails for three different uh, social media platforms so this is the way you normally do it and um, I think it is it is also almost about it as far as this video is concerned so just to give you a, s a slight background we have seen uh, how we can do it in a YouTube format how we can do it in a, Instagram format how we can do it also in TikTok format so yeah and uh, with this I conclude my today's tutorial session uh, thanks a lot um, guys uh, for taking all your time and uh, keep watching and keep popping into my youtube channel and don't forget to subscribe like and share my channel among your colleague friends and family and keep supporting me I'm really new and uh, i will try my best to make uh, interesting and new videos uh, if you have any requests then please let me know into the comment section and uh, just uh, tell me uh, if you wanted to see some specific tutorials on other video editors or uh, like uh, i will be doing also in future tips and tricks uh, uh, just to share with you guys uh, with uh, video proc and uh, have a nice day Take care. Bye-bye.